Hey, it's Tanner Shuck from TrueStrength.co. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you the top five most anabolic exercises. Working out isn't rocket science. In fact, effective training is incredibly simple. Notice I said it's simple, but it's not easy. Building a strong, lean, and muscular physique is perhaps one of the most rewarding endeavors in life. Now, why do I say that? Because building a strong and jacked physique is one thing money can't buy. It instills work ethic, discipline, and consistency. In other words, a strong body equals a strong mind. But the unfortunate truth is that there's more fitness shitfluencers than ever these days, trying to profit off your ignorance by purposely overcomplicating the most basic training concepts. But thankfully, you're watching this video because not only will I teach you how to train correctly, I'll also show you my top five most anabolic exercises. How did I make this selection? I'm a huge fan of minimalist training, or always prioritizing the exercises that give you the most value for time. In other words, the most effective exercises to maximize both strength and hypertrophy will always be the exercises that incorporate the most muscle while allowing you to lift the most weight possible through a large range of motion. So I just asked myself, if I could only do five exercises for the rest of my life to get as jacked as possible, what would they be? The answer is obvious, the compound lifts. Now. It would be fair to assume that this would just be squat, bench, and deadlift. And while those exercises are incredible for strength, there are better options to maximize hypertrophy and anabolism, which is what this video is about. Also, make sure to stick around to the end of the video to see the most anabolic exercise ever. And I guarantee 99% of you have never done or even heard of it before. So now that we understand what makes an exercise anabolic, let's cover the most anabolic exercises. <sighs> Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Let's start off with upper body, because every dude loves chest. So my first most anabolic exercise is the incline press. I love the incline press, and I would say it's easily my number one exercise to build a bigger chest. The incline angle increases the range of motion and does a great job of hitting the pecs, anterior delts, and triceps. Bodybuilders live by the incline press, and it should definitely be a staple exercise in every lifter's routine if you're serious about building a huge chest. Now, which variation of incline press, barbell or dumbbell? The short answer, do both. The barbell incline press will allow you to lift the heaviest amount of weight and maximize mechanical tension, but dumbbells allow for a greater and more natural range of motion. I recommend starting off with heavy barbell inclines and then using heavy dumbbell inclines as a strength accessory. Ultimately, they are both great for hypertrophy. Dips would be a close second behind the incline press and are another incredible exercise to hit the chest and triceps extremely well and are the next best alternative to build a big chest in case you don't have access to bars or dumbbells. Number two the barbell bent over row. I consider this the king of back building exercises, as this lift hits every major muscle in your back, such as the traps, rhomboids, lats, and spinal erectors. I see way too many guys overcomplicating rows and worrying about trivial shit, such as using fancy machines or rowing in a bunch of different planes of motion. Don't do this. While these fancy variations may be good to refine a physique, they are definitely not what builds a thick and muscular back. That can only be done with basic compound movements while using heavy weight and taking most sets to failure, or at least within two reps to failure. I love doing heavy bent over rows for both hypertrophy and strength development. Don't be afraid to lift heavy. Remember, you're using a ton of big and strong muscles, so you need to train them accordingly if you wanna get any benefit from this exercise. Just always use proper form. The biggest mistake I see most lifters make with this exercise is they go way too light. If you're gonna do that, you might as well just stay home and thumb your nuts. And number three, the pull-up and or lat pull-down. While barbell rows are great for thickness and density, pull-ups are great for a wide back and the V-taper look. I've said it before, the strict pull-up is the best exercise to develop a lean and muscular upper body. If you can bang out strict pull-ups, you're gonna be strong, lean, and jacked. Similar to rows, rather than worry about trivial variations, you'll be far better served just doing more pull-ups in general, regardless of the variation. For example, say your max unbroken set of overhand pull-ups is 10. Instead of doing other inferior exercises, just do more fucking pull-ups. Get to where you can do 15 unbroken pull-ups, then 20, then 30. My current PR for strict unbroken chin over the bar pull-ups is 32 reps at 205 pounds. And I definitely attribute my back development to just doing thousands of rows and pull-ups, not single rows on an incline bench in the scapular plane of motion. Now, if you wanna learn how to improve your strict pull-ups, make sure to check out my free training article detailing the repetition method, which I'll link in the description below. Once you master pull-ups and chin-ups, then you can incorporate different variations such as wide grip, close grip, neutral grip, L pull-ups, angle grip pull-ups, archer pull-ups, weighted pull-ups, you get the point. Just do loads of pull-ups and I guarantee you'll get a jacked back. Now, if you're kind of fat or just a weak little bitch, then just do lat pull-downs. 
Pull downs are an amazing exercise as well and are definitely the best place to start building the foundational strength for a pull up. Lat pull downs are also great for hypertrophy where you can do high rep heavy sets and drop sets. Again, you can use different grips and variations for pull downs, but just focus on the basic variations first. To keep it simple, if you want a strong lean and muscular back, just do more fucking strict pull ups. Also, if you missed my top five most anabolic foods or the best natty ways to get jacked, make sure to check out those videos here because they will definitely teach you everything else you need to know if you're truly serious about getting as jacked as possible. Moving on to number four. As many of you could already guess, the squat. Many coaches, including myself, consider the squat to be the king of all exercises because no other exercise builds strength and mass in the legs like high rep heavy squats. Nothing's like squats. I mean, it's like nothing compares to squats. You can do leg presses, but why? Why do an inferior movement? Why do a movement that looks good, but it produces hardly any results? I don't care how much weight you can use. I'd rather do, like you did, three good plates, get in 15, 20 good reps, and reap the benefit. I mean, there's a reason people don't squat. It's hard, it's hard. People don't want what's hard, they want what's easy, what looks showy. Forget about it. In fact, forget about the weight, just squat correctly like you just did. That is the secret. Absolutely. In fact, I don't consider you a man if you've never done high rep heavy squats till failure. While you can certainly make the argument that heavy leg presses or hack squats may be better options for leg hypertrophy, I still consider barbell squats king due to the fact that you're not only training your legs, but also your low back and core. Another thing, no one gives a fuck how much you can leg press, but everyone respects a heavy ass back squat. And if you can squat heavy, trust me, you're gonna have no problem doing heavy leg presses or hack squats. Now, if for whatever reason you can't squat or that movement pattern just doesn't agree with your body, then definitely go with heavy deep leg presses or hack squats. Again, and most importantly, use heavy weights, a large range of motion, and take each set close to failure. Will it be hard as fuck? Yes. Will it make you wanna puke? Yes. Will it make you a better person and get you jacked? Fuck yeah, so do them. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the most anabolic exercise that 99% of you are not doing is... Wait, 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 Tanner, let me guess. Cable crunches. Are you kidding me? Easy bar curls? No. Tricep kickbacks? Fuck no. Battle ropes? Bro, I'm about to slap the shit out of you. Well, what is it? I'll tell you as long as you quit doing those stupid ass exercises. Today's video is brought to you by Transparent Labs because I'm transparent with you. Get the highest quality supplements at the most affordable price. No fillers, no artificial sweeteners, only clinically dosed formulas. Use code TANNER and save. The number one most anabolic exercise that you're not doing is the trap bar squat. The trap bar squat essentially combines the best elements of both the squat and deadlift into one extremely high value for time exercise. In my opinion, this exercise is one of the single most effective lifts to improve both strength and hypertrophy that most lifters never try. Want one of the most uncomfortable low back pumps of your life? Do trap bar squats. In fact, it will blow up your entire posterior chain by effectively targeting your hamstrings, glutes, spinal erectors, and traps. What I love most about this exercise and what makes it so effective is that you're basically engaging every muscle in your entire body, save for your pecs and triceps. And it's one of my favorite exercises to promote total body anabolism. Due to the larger range of motion and increased demand placed on the legs, the trap bar squat is significantly more taxing than a conventional straight bar deadlift from the floor. Quick tip, if you wanna make any exercise more challenging and effective, find a way to incorporate the body's largest muscle group, the legs. Actually, just think of the trap bar squat as a squatting deadlift. Treat the trap bar squat like any other form of deadlift. Instead of trying to pull the weight up, think of pushing your feet through the floor to lift the weight. Actually, this will be even easier and more natural with the trap bar squat, as the starting position is basically a squat position. Application. While there are no hard and fast programming rules for the trap bar squat, I prefer to use it as the main compound lift for my workout and have found it to be a great standalone exercise. In fact, I've done numerous workouts where I've done high rep heavy trap bar squats and it's so fatiguing that it will be the only exercise I can do in the training session. 
The trap bar squat is a great lift to train for moderate to advanced level lifters, and especially for lifters whose primary goal is to put on muscle. It can be a great alternative to conventional straight bar deadlifts, and I often use it in my programs in hypertrophy blocks where the main focus is just to get as jacked as possible. Now, why don't you see other fitness YouTubers doing trap bar squats? because it's hard ass fucking work. And most fitness YouTubers are too big of pussies to actually do them and have never put themselves through any substantial amount of brutal training. If you wanna learn how to most effectively program trap bar squats, check out my free training article linked in the description below. So there you have it. My top five most anabolic exercises. The incline press, barbell bent over row, pull-ups, squats, and trap bar squats. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you got some value out of it. And when in doubt, you can never go wrong by prioritizing these exercises in your workout, especially if you want to get as jacked as possible. And remember, life is too short to be an unhealthy pencil neck punk that's low on confidence. So make sure to work fucking hard and attack your goals with reckless abandon. If you guys need help with your training, make sure to check out my Straight Up Strength program or my Fit Aesthetics program available at truestrength.co or in the description below. The first week is free, so you've got nothing to lose and everything to gain, literally. Also, me and my cameraman, John, work really hard at putting out the best quality content possible for you all for free. If you enjoy our content and want to support us, please click on the support me link in the description below or take two seconds and click the super thanks button where you can leave us a virtual tip. I promise, any and all proceeds from these tips only go into us creating more high quality free content for you to enjoy and it would mean the world to us. And lastly, if you enjoyed the video, leave your comments below and let me know what topics you want to see me cover in the future. Also, check out these videos. And if you haven't already, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you never miss another video. Remember, don't just be strong, be truly strong. I'll catch you guys on the next one.